Amsterdam, come on in. Our collection is located outside on the streets of the bus, Amsterdam. So we're going to go on a tour. Come with me. This piece is called Glory and was created in 2014 over five days by graffiti artist Pez and local Dutch master Danny Recall. It's a great example of street art's evolution from graffiti to urban art because of the high level of technical skill necessary to create this piece. Both of the artists worked using only spray cans without any additional projections, stencils, or other support. Pez was one of the artists featured in Banksy's movie, Exit Through the Gift Shop, works in his traditional graffiti style in order to create the blue guacamayas around the central figure, which was created by Danny Recall. This central figure shows another step in street art's evolution towards photorealism which is not possible in traditional graffiti or street art simply because of time constraints. Come with me to our next piece, which is a mural just across the canal. This is Destiny. It was created in 2013 by Scount. It's the piece in our collection that's closest to classical muralism goddesses who control the lives and destinies of human beings. While working on this piece, three of Scout's friends were in a train accident. Two of them were killed and one of them was badly injured, including one of Scout's mentors. So in an ironic twist of fate, the subject matter of this piece became very personal to the artist and he ended up dedicating this mural to his friends. The next piece in our collection is very, very different from this one, and it's just down the street. Follow me. This piece is called Smile and was created in 2013 by Stinkfish. And it's one of the pieces in our collection that asks the viewer to question their perceptions, which is one of the goals of the museum. In this case, we ask the viewer to question the nuance between a smile and a grimace. The production method for this piece only took two days. The first day was used to create the black background and the yellow face, which was taken from a stencil from one of Stinkfish's own photos. The second day was used to create all of the colorful detail around, and that was done using spray cans. Stingfish is known as a master of can control, and this particular piece is one of the best examples of true graffiti art in the collection. Welcome back to our HQ. Over the last seven years, Sama has created a collection that documents the evolution of graffiti, from bombings, taggings, stickers, and paste stubs, into street art that also includes urban design, muralism, and urban art. We hope you've enjoyed this tour through our collection. This neighborhood is changing and evolving quickly. Thanks to urban renewal and gentrification, over the next five years, many of the pieces in our collection will be gone. Help us to preserve the legacy of this community where we have used street art as a tool towards dialogue to talk about our identity and the evolution of our city.